Hello and welcome to another edition of Barca Fan Voice. First, I should apologise for the lack of updates recently, but you can understand there's not been much news really. A lot of transfer rumours, which I'll get into. But now we're only eight days away from Barca's return to action with the away game at Mallorca, now fixed for Saturday the 13th of June at 10 o'clock local time. And I'll begin today with the news that Leo Messi had missed training today, Friday, with a slight thigh strain in his right leg. Messi, like Ansu Fati, did specific work on his own, but it's expected that he will return to group training in the next few days. Barca will train tomorrow at camp now to get used to the conditions again at the stadium. Sunday's a rest day and then they'll be back to training on Monday again. Another player whose fitness we're all watching is Luis Suarez. It appears he's going to get the green light to play. It seems unlikely that he'll play 90 minutes at Mallorca, but I imagine we'll probably see him come on for 20 minutes, perhaps as a substitute, to regain his fitness. Of course, we've got 11 games in about 30 days, so we're going to need everybody fit, and we don't want to take any risks with anybody's fitness. Now, let's take a look at those transfer rumours. Now, the two recurring names over the last weeks have been Lautaro Martinez and Juventus Pjanic. But as I've said before, nothing is complete, and we'll really have to wait until the end of the season, I think. Recent developments show that it may not be quite so simple. We've heard that Real Madrid may also be pushing for Lautaro. Um, according, that was according to Sky Italia. And there was also a story that Paris Saint-Germain may be interested in Pjanic. So we'll have to wait and see. As far as Lautaro is concerned, Inter seem to be holding out for their 111 million euro release clause. And the latest story from Barcelona is that Barca were planning to offer a package of 70 million euros and Junior Firpo, which would value the left back at 41 million euros, which, let's be honest, does seem a little bit much. But we'll see. You know, he seems to be highly valued by other teams. So if they want to value him at 41 million, well, fine. But I can't see it happening. Another possible incorporation that we've heard about this week is that of Manchester City's Eric Garcia, centre-back, 19 years old. I believe he's played six times for the first team for Manchester City and people are comparing him to Gerard Piquet. Well, we remember that Piquet was at Manchester United as a youngster under Alex Ferguson. He couldn't get into their team because Manchester United had an excellent central defending partnership then of Rio Ferdinand and Vidic. I don't know if the competition at Manchester City is so strong for Eric Garcia, but he could certainly be a very interesting option. Now, of course, in all these transfer rumours, there's a lot of talk of which Barca players may be included in the operation. We've just seen with Junior Firpo possibly being included. We've heard stories that possibly Semedo could leave, that Dembele could leave, and recently Sergio Roberto to Manchester City has appeared as an option. Now, I'm not sure what you think about these possibilities. I really don't think we should lose any of these three players. Dembele hasn't reached his potential, but he's a player that offers us that verticality that we don't always have with the speed to get in behind high defences. As for Semedo, some people may feel he's not as good as Danny Alves, which he probably isn't. But I'm not sure whether we'd find a better substitute for him. I know there's been talk about this young guy at Ajax, Dest. If we can get him, then, well, maybe that's a better option. Maybe he could be better than Semedo. But it's a bit risky. He's only 19. So I think letting go of Semedo would be a mistake. And also I think it would be a mistake to let go of Sergio Roberto. Yes, we could cash in on him. And yes, he's never really been a first-choice player, apart from sometimes at right back. But he's so versatile, and the fact that he's a Barca boy, came up through the ranks, I really think we should hold on to him. As it's not always easy to find versatile squad players who will shut up and get on with things. Finally today, as we get closer to the return of football, I should mention there was a story this week of the possibility of fans being allowed back into the stadium this season. Now, this all began when the government announced that regions of Spain that moved into phase three, this is coming out of lockdown, in phase three, that the regions would have more autonomy over their decisions. So immediately in Las Palmas, in the Canary Islands, which is a region of Spain, the Las Palmas president announced that he'd like to allow 800 fans into their game. This caused a backlash, other clubs complained, it wouldn't be fair if they didn't have fans, if they were in phase two. And the idea has been floated that perhaps when the whole of Spain moves into phase three, then this could be a possibility. But don't hold your breath. The rules seem to change every day, what's going to happen, whether you have to wear a mask, where you can go with a mask, without a mask, what time of day, etc, etc. And I'm sure wherever you are, you're suffering similar problems with your governments coming out of lockdown, telling you what you can do and what you can't do. And a lot of it doesn't seem to make much sense. But we can keep our fingers crossed because we know that football 
It's only really football when we've got fans in the stadium. That's what we all live for. That's what we all want to get back to. Whether you go and watch live football or you're watching the TV, you know that it's not going to be the same without fans. Football's always been about bringing people together in groups, whether it's in the ground or whether it's in bars and pubs around the world, people getting together to watch the game. And as soon as we get back to this, the better. OK, well, that's all for me for today. I'll be back next week. The big build-up to the return to football. Until then, bis Barca. Have a great weekend. Bye for now.